News break coming in from Karnataka, where in fact the former Deputy Chief Minister has reiterated his CM ambitions. This is G. Parameshwara, a very senior Congress leader in the state, who has said now and confirmed that he very much will be a part of the CM face race. G. Parameshwara has said that everyone has a desire to become the Chief Minister, and so do I. Remember that the Congress is already facing a problem because Sidramaya and DKS have been going all out seeking in fact to be named as the Congress's CM face and amid that you have another contender throwing his hat in the ring and someone who is an extremely senior Congress leader at that. So this is the big breaking news that's coming in. Remember earlier also G. Parameshwara had made his intentions clear uh, when in fact he was meeting with CS and said very clearly that uh, there should be in fact recognition of my seniority and I will be pushing to be made the chief minister. And now he's again said that I will be going ahead and pushing for that post. This will mean more trouble for the Congress. How far is G. Parameshwara really willing to go to fight for that kind of a CM phase of the Congress? will of course be something that we will be able to determine uh, in some time from now but G. Parameshwara listen into exactly what he said. Given an opportunity I will also be a part of it. Given an opportunity, I will also be a part of it. Mm -hmm. The deputy CM uh, last time around, and uh, if our government comes, he's sure to occupy a huge responsibility uh, in the next uh, government as well. So it also shows that the depth of leadership, right? Whereas we have the depth of leadership. Who is that CM candidate? Mr. Baswaraj Bhama himself uh, became uh, the CM just by falling at feet of a couple of leaders, state leaders. So, but here we have depth of leadership. There are a lot of people who are this thing. But ultimately, all of them agree on one common thing, is that the high command will decide who is going to be the CM. G. Par uh, in fact, G. Parameshwara making uh, this uh, comment saying very clearly that he also has ambitions, wants to be the chief minister. Sagar Raj is joining us with more details on this. Sagai, another headache for the Congress. They can't afford to irk Parameshwara in any way. He's an extremely senior leader, has served as uh, the party president in Karnataka, has been a former deputy chief minister in the state, is also a very prominent Dalit face for the party. Absolutely, and they have to take everybody in good books so when it comes to this particular election because this particular election is, is, will decide the survival of Congress in the state of Karnataka and that is the reason the Congre Congress is, uh, uh, is full and out to fight against BJP in the state and if you notice this is not the first time Parmeshwar have outspoken about his desire and ambition to be the next chief minister of Karnataka. He said that given a chance even I want to be in the race and there are more than 10 people who are already in the race and it is the high command which will take the decision. End of the sentence, they always say it is the high command which takes the decision but they try to throw the hat in the race. All right, so I request you to stay on with me. Let's continue tracking all the latest updates that are coming in from Karnataka. Months to go for the elections, so political war of words now heating up between the BJP and the Congress. And it's over Tipu Sultan, despite in fact Tipu descendants coming out and saying that this kind of political bickering over Tipu must stop. It continues between the BJP and Congress. With just a few months to go for the election, this has become almost the number one agenda. You had the Karnataka Education Minister days ago urging people to finish off Congress's Sidramaya, uh, just like 17th century Mysore ruler Tipu Sultan was killed. The former Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaya has now hit back at the Bombay government, has hit back at the Mantri here, attacking Ashwad Narayan for his comment. He asked him to stop instigating uh, people, to stop in fact influencing them, intimidating them and instead to get the gun himself. He went on to say the BJP leaders can't be trusted as they worship the murderer of Mahatma Gandhi. You've got AIMIM chief Asaduddin Owaisi also now getting into this entire fight, hitting back at the BJP. He's thrown an open challenge at them. Owaisi saying that he isn't scared to take Tipu's name and that BJP is unsuccessful in eradicating corruption from the state. <laughs> Until 
ಮಾಜಿ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಮಯ್ಯ ಅವರನ್ನು ಟಿಪ್ಪು ಸುಲ್ತಾನ್ ರೀತಿ ಹೊಡೆದು ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ಹೊಡೆದಾಕ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಹೊಡೆದಾಕಿ ಬಿಡ್ತೀರ ಹೊಡೆದಾಕಿ ಬಿಡ್ತೀರ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀನಂದ್ರೆ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಮಯ್ಯ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಬಂದರೆ ಟಿಪ್ಪು ಜಾಗಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಮಯ್ಯ ಬಂದಾಗೆ ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಕೆ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ನೇ ಕಾ ಕಿ ಹಮ ಉನ್ಕೋ ಮಿಟಾ ದೇಂಗೆ ಮಾರ ದೇಂಗೆ ಜೋ ಟಿಪು ಸುಲ್ತಾನ್ ಕಾ ನಾಮ ಲೇ ರೇ ಮೈ ಟಿಪು ಸುಲ್ತಾನ್ ಕಾ ನಾಮ ಲೇ ರೋ ಕ್ಯಾ ಕರೋಗೆ ತುಮ ಬೋಲೋ ಮಾರೋಗೆ ಮುಜೆ ಮಿಟಾ ದೋಗೆ ಮುಜೆ ಬೋಲೋ ಕಾ ಪರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮಾರನೆ ಕೆ ಆ ಜೋ ಕ್ಯಾ ದೇಶ ಕೆ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಮಂತ್ರಿ ಉನ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರದೇಶ ಕೆ ಜೋ ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಕೆ ಲೀಡರ್ ಹೈ ಉನ್ಕಿ ಜಬಾನ್ ಸೆ ವೋ ಸಹಮತ ಹೈ ಕಿ ಟಿಪು ಸುಲ್ತಾನ್ ಕಾ ನಾಮ ಲೇಗಾ ಹಮ ಮಿಟಾ ದೇಂಗೆ ಮಾರ ದೇಂಗೆ ಅರೆ ಭಾಯಿ ಕರಪ್ಷನ್ ಕಾ ನಾಮ ಲೇ ಕರಪ್ಷನ್ ಕೋ ಮಿಟಾ ನಹೀ ಪಾಯ ಆಪ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕೀ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಆಪ ಕೀ ಹೈ ಯೇ ತೋ ಓಪನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಹೈ ವಯಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ಲಿಯೆ ಯೇ ತೋ ಓಪನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಹೈ ಮರ್ಡರ್ ಆರ್ ಜೆನೋಸೈಡ್ ಕೆ ಲಿಯೆ So what started this entire showdown? Let's get your details of what Karnataka's Minister Ashwat Narayan said two days ago. ಉರಿಗೌಡ ನಂಜೇಗೌಡ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಉರಿಗೌಡ ನಂಜೇಗೌಡ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಹಂಗೆ ಇವ್ರನ್ನ ಹೊಡೆದಾಕ್ಬೇಕು ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕಳ್ಸಿಕೊಡುವಂತದ Sagar Raj is joining us live with more details on the story. So Sagar, the political discourse in Karnataka is largely focused on the likes of Tipu Sultan. And the BJP and the Congress continue in fact this narrative despite warnings from even Tipu's uh, family, from Tipu's descendants saying stop this kind of political slugfest. Absolutely, they have openly spoke about this and this is not the first time, Akshita, that they are requesting uh, all these political parties to do politics in the name of Tipu Sultan. So, leave us alone, leave us Tipu Sultan out of uh, this kind of uh, uh, political slug uh, fest between uh, political parties. So they claim that uh, whatever it has happened, it has happened, it is a part of history. But why you need to rake up this issue? Why pol political parties are trying to take political mileage out of this particular situation and when we questioned the bjp yesterday why they are seeking votes on the communal lines they said that there is nothing wrong in seeking the vote in the name of rama and anuman but when it comes to tipu sultan he himself was communal he was, was killing people and they will continue to highlight this particular thing but if you note the congress have hit out at bjp stating that they have to speak about the development what the bjp has achieved in uh, last 5 years or last 3 years uh, when they were in in power and uh, uh, they should go out with the report court rather than uh, speaking uh, about uh, tipu sultan and savarkar and now uh, ashwat narayan has spoke about how he was been beaten up by two gaudas in uh, mandya district and said that these, uh, even sidramaiya should be beaten up like that and chased out of uh, uh, mandya and this particular statement has not gone well with sidramaiya where he has asked government to take suo moto and uh, sack him uh, from the ministry all right we'll track the latest reactions that come in on this thanks for the moment sagar for joining us